Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about truth. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is in your opinion the quote-unquote general truth that you have found behind the the massive amount of tech and programming books slash content on the internet? Well, uh, that's a difficult question to answer. I would say that the general truth, if there is such a thing, is that his, it used to be the case that programming content, if you look at the old profiles of the day, it used to be that people who were very smart and very passionate post uh, created learning materials mostly based in in a similar sense to academia in a way with the purpose of relaying their own thoughts if that makes sense it used to be that you were making content because you found things through your own experiences and then you shared that with other people and then they could learn from it uh, and the idea was more it was almost a bit of a symbiotic relationship almost I would call it where the teacher uh, or the person informing has a chance to sort of get their thoughts onto paper create some good guiding principles that they believe in make a little bit of money as compensation for that and then people like myself or people who come later can read and sort of figure out that oh yeah okay these are some good guidelines to follow when I'm on my own journey of discovery if that makes sense right but today, the vast majority of content that you will find is not geared towards that. It is streamlined to the, uh, with, uh, with the intention of being mass consumable by people who are not actual professional programmers, but content creators. Content creators are the vast majority of people who are making vo programming videos these days and programming content overall. And the, there are exceptions of this, of course, but there there's a there's a disproportionate amount of people today, sort of like uh, how social media once upon a time primarily was for people like regular people. Today it's m getting to the point where it's more a platform for celebrities and brands and so forth to push m you know their own personal agendas and so forth and I believe that and that's the thing I've seen in software uh, content as well. It's gotten to the point where I can't really find anymore. I actually had that epiphany the other day where I subscribe to so many 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 weekly newsletters and RSS feeds and so forth uh, and I realized that I had scrolled through my uh, my medium RSS feed for months and not once actually read an article because almost everything is geared towards the absolute bare bone basic stuff that you know it's the lowest level that you can imagine. It's like an introduction to a tool, a what is hooks in React, or uh, how to set up an Angular project, or get down with, you know, crash course to Java, etc, etc. And so, and this is sort of just my thoughts on that. I think that that is due to the fact that there is actually more money to be made in teaching people to basic coding than it is in becoming good at uh, programming on average. Just today I read this uh, reply to an old video that I made about why most software developers don't actually become millionaires by making their own system and this person basically stated to me that uh, the reason is because people are not being educated in being anything besides somebody else as employee and we can absolutely argue that back and forth and my personal opinion is actually very similar to this where there is a branch of people who have this ability or this inclination to do things with the intent of making money if that makes sense and the average software developer is usually a person who 
learns software programming because they find it interesting they make a career out of it because there is stable money and so forth and the contrast of such a person to someone who goes and makes millions or like makes these uh, the like self-made people as we like to call them like the capitalists uh, love to raise these people up the self-made people in order for you to get to be this successful or uh, if we look at just this is not even an opinion in my opinion my opinion is that this is not an opinion it is proven beyond all doubt that the average person is not willing not whatever for whatever reason to go and create a completely you know their own brand start up something and run it as a business because it's usually harder to run a business or a way it's harder for you to actually make a decent living and it requires a lot of effort to do that and most people are not interested in that sort of path they're in usually the reason why people do anything is so that they can stimulate themselves and in terms of profession and jobs and so forth it's a balancing act between what how much much risk are you willing to invest in this thing and how what, what is your desire to do and for a person who wants to be a programmer they usually favor focusing on the coding and getting good at that sort of thing and actually wants to explore the engineering part of this whole thing the content creators are interested in money they're interested in branding money power, like all of these sorts of things they're in in, in a sense they're more uh, it's cl more inclined i would go as far as to say that they're closer in terms of archetype of person to someone who wants to be famous not because they did something great but because they just want to be famous which is like statistically most young people these days who want to be TikTok famous or whatever like Instagram famous models and so forth and so forth where the goal is not to do any do some something real this goal is not to learn a skill and get praised for it the goal is to get praise so just as the vast majority of content is not no longer written by people who actually know things it's written by people who are trying to teach the basics of the basics because there's money to be made just as t like these tv retailing networks they're not about quality products they're about making money and so i sort of uh, have seen this happen there are still of course people who are really really good and you sort of when you get over the first beginner level stuff you start to figure out that for the vast majority and I suspect that that is similar to in most businesses of uh, content that is out there you're going to have to look around a little bit to find these sorts of uh, truly like these gems of information where you can really listen to someone who really knows their stuff and I, it's a little bit sad because if you think about well, which I think is hilarious if you think about the main recommendations uh, if uh, even today even today i still hear the same thing now some of the if we talk programming books some of the main recommendations of programming book content and things like that guys these books are at least 10 sometimes 20 up to maybe 25 30 years old and that is these are still the most recommended books so why are why is there not a sea of new content because the explosion of IT has been so massive that it's like it's a hundred times bigger than it used to be yet we are not seeing the same sort of quality exponential growth in uh, in our programming content and then the people that we look up to uh, for guidance and so forth and I argue that the reason is because when things get more accessible people of lower skill and lower quality with a different uh, uh, pr and different ambitions than actually being really good at software development make it in realize that hey I can actually I can actually earn personal benefit from this situation just as back in the old days when the gold rush started the people who got really rich had <laughs> was actually not always the person who was searching for gold it was the person who was selling the pickaxe that's at least what I've seen so what I want you to take away from this is that, well, the fundamental truth that I found about tech programming books and so forth is that the best content there is, is made by people who are first and foremost 
software developers real professionals the people who actually it's almost like scientists scientific novels you have scientists who create real like they are very talented the best ones are the guys and girls who are uh, the men and women who are very talented with storytelling they're experts in their field they really know their stuff but they also know how to break things down for us normal humans so that we sort of understand and these people are in my opinion the people who move everything forward these are the true pioneers and the true contributors to to everything and then you have the people who are just in it for the money who like do garbage uh, science or garbage like popularist articles about things because they know they're going to make money from it it's not about making the world a better place it is about personal gain and we have so much of that in programming you have no idea as i said i have not found anything worthwhile apart from the absolute beginner level stuff in months and trust me it's not because i haven't tried to find it so what if there's anything i can say about it is that uh, it's a very good thing for you when you're a beginner this doesn't matter because all this content is made for you guys but when you get to a point where it's time to start becoming a serious professional, you will start to uh, figure out that you're going to have to look a little bit. It's sort of like learning what a good restaurant looks like or like learning you know, what is a quality newspaper or something like that where you can't just take whatever because there's so much that is just garbage. But when you find specific people or specific influencers so forth, the, guy, the men and women who really do make stuff that is value building, well, hold on to those people and support them because they are a minority, but they're also the people who everybody else feeds off in order to make whatever they're doing. Have a great day.